This is all that remains from one of London's most notorious prisons. Marshall Sea Prison housed all kinds of people between the 14th and 18th century, but it's infamous for its incarceration of London's debtors. As a profit-driven enterprise, conditions inside Marshall Sea differed dramatically depending on the wealth of the prisoners. The more affluent debtors reveled in relative luxury. They had access to a bar, a shop, a restaurant, and crucially they were let out during the day, meaning they could earn money and pay off their debts. Meanwhile, the poorer prisoners were crammed together into small rooms, and even a modest debt could see them held there for years. And the longer they stayed in there, the more their prison fees accumulated, creating a vicious cycle of debt. Many prisoners would perish due to starvation, and the jailers were more than happy to use skull caps and thumb screws to torture any prisoner who crossed them. Charles Dickens' father was among those incarcerated. This forced Charles to leave school and work at a factory to take care of his family, an event that influenced much of his writing. The prison closed in 1842 and was demolished a few decades later. Now all that remains is a single wall that you can still visit today, and, as Dickens said, you will stand among the crowding ghosts of many miserable years.